Alrighty traders, so in today's video or in this video, what I want to do is, oh, where the hell did that come from? Oh, there you go. <laughs> anyway, in this video, guys, what I want to do is I just want to share with you um, more about understanding these markets a lot more and understanding where we are and what's actually happening in these markets. So you can just get a good guide of what to expect and so on and so forth. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so let's get straight into it. Uh, the reason why I want to do this video is because I think a lot of people really have a hard, uh, um, a hard time understanding reading the market, understanding the markets, and understanding what's really going on with these markets here, okay? So I'm gonna go through some stocks. I'm just gonna go through a whole bunch of stocks through uh, today. And just to show you how we should be thinking about the markets so we can anticipate what's, or so we can know what's happening, and then also then we can anticipate what's likely to come next, right? So for example, um, one of the things, like for example, the S&P 500, Right, so as the S&P 500 was going up through here, I started to say, especially it was through, it was through this point right here, right? This point right here, I was saying, guys, we're probably gonna get a pullback soon for a couple of weeks. Uh, I don't know when, but it's gonna happen. We had a little rise, but then now look what happened. We're getting the pullback now. So the whole thing about that is like, it's just understanding what's going on in these markets and understanding, uh, how to read these markets properly. So, so if we have a look at trend analysis, right? So trend analysis is really, really, really important. And the, the one thing you must understand, you, you can ask yourself is, is this a change in trend or is there something else to this? Is this a change in trend or is there something else to this? Um, or is this just a pullback? So, so is it a change in trend or is, it a, is, is this just a pullback? Because if it's just a pullback right now, obviously everything can morph into something else later on. So, but we only have right now, to, right? So as we, uh, as we uh, view in the markets, it's important to ask ourselves, is it a changing trend or is it a pullback? As of today. Now, next week could be something different, but as of today. So if we had go through some stocks right now, okay? So let's just go through Apple right now. Apple right now is what? Having a move to the downside. Now, the question we ask ourselves is that, is Apple in now a complete free fall in bear market? That's it, the top's at, the top is in for Apple and the market's gonna go straight down and that's just gonna crash to the downside. Is that what, is, is that what's gonna happen? So what's, what we need to do is say, okay, where is the trend? Remember trend analysis, trend analysis and also price and time. And if the market goes up like that, comes back, sometimes we get a very big up move like this. And if we get something like that, what is that? That is what, just the pullback. Why? Because with low, higher low, it's probably likely to be a higher low here. We don't know where, and then scoop back up again, and then and then we can then we can reassess, right? We can scoop back up again and continue up the trend, or we could uh, scoop back up and then maybe like a lower high and then start a downward trend from there, right? There's obviously things can happen, but as we are speaking, look what what is Apple doing now? Let's go to the weekly chart, and the weekly chart really gives us a really good understanding. Actually, you know what? Let's just keep it on on the good on. Uh, let's keep it on the on this on this chart here. So, what is happening with this chart here, we have up, we have down, and I see this whole thing as one big up move. So this whole move down through here, and it may even have a bit more downside there, is what? Is actually just a nice healthy correction out of these markets, and it's not a change in trend, right? A change in trend is what? Lower highs on the way down. And if we have a look at the good old Fibonacci tool from the low to the high point, we can see right now we're at the 38% and we could actually even get down to the to the 50%, which is that previous high point through there. Actually, we're at that level of support right now, right? So knowing that, trying to, if you're looking to say, go short a stock like this, well, it's very risky. Why? Because this is just a pullback. Now, what's the, what's the problem or what's the issue with just pullbacks in the market? The issue is what? We never know when the pullback is going to end, right? So trying to short it, it may, it, the, the, 
<laughs> Spiriatron, the pullback, may be finishing right now. And away we go, right? We never know. So that's always, always the, that's always the problem of trying to short something like this. If we go look at Tesla, what's Tesla doing? Tesla has been pulling back through here. Again, this is something I called last month. I didn't know exactly when this was going to happen, but I knew it was going to happen. And look what's been happening for the last two weeks. So looking at this here, is this a change in trend? Is this something else? If we go to the weekly chart with Tesla, what does Tesla be doing? Really, 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 really simple. Oh, by the way, guys, do any of you guys use TradingView? Because the first time I looked at Tesla, <laughs> an Elon Musk image came out. <laughs> and it's like, oh my goodness. Anyway, um, it, it, just, it, it came straight out through here. It came straight out like here. And then it's it stayed here for a bit. And then it went back into here and then it disappeared. And then I couldn't get back again. I was like, oh, what was that? Anyway, so... Look at this here. What do we have? We have a move up. We have a move down. We have a higher low, don't we? A move up. So what is this through here? This is what? Just what? A pullback. So, okay, cool. So if we know that this is a pullback, one, we don't know when the pullback's going to end, but what we are, what are we anticipating to happen after this pullback is finished? What are we anticipating? We're probably anticipating another move to the upside, right? Now, again, anything can happen. That's why we need to reassess. But for now, look what's happening, right? This whole move here is what? Not a drop, not a, not a complete start of a crash in the market. It's what? It is just a nice, healthy pullback. And if we draw some good old trend lines from there to there, right, we can see that this is just a nice, healthy pullback, low, move up, and a move down to making a high low. Makes sense? So we're just looking at these markets through here and that's that's all we need to focus on when looking at this level through here. Uh, let's go look at saying Microsoft. Microsoft, let's go to the daily charts through here. So what, what is Microsoft doing? Really, again, really simple, right? Look up, down, high, low, high, low. We had this very big up move through here. We had this sort of move down through here and then now we're getting this move down through here, right? Um, so you can see actually, yeah, that's not really a higher low, is it? Because a higher low is up and down, up and then down. So this whole move went up sideways and then back up again. So this whole move could be up like that and like that, right? Because remember, a higher low is up and down. If it goes up like this, then there's no real higher low there. So let's look at the weekly chart here. And what do we have here, right? We have a very strong move up. So this pullback that we're getting right now is what? exactly what I just said there, right? It's a pullback in the market. And we can see this point through here, right? So that's actually what we're, that, that's, that, that's, a, that's what we're looking at here with, with these markets through here. So whenever we're looking at these stocks, all these, these markets through here, like the S&P 500, all like the Dow right now, right? And if we go to the daily charts for the Dow, right? We can see the Dow actually is actually having, having a bit of a, 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 a bit, a bit of a, a bit of a movement to the downside. So, so far right now, what is happening, right? We're just in an upward trend. Now, anything can happen after this, and this is why it's important as a trader we morph, we mold with this thing. But low, high, low, right, and then a move down through here. And unless or if the Dow Jones gets back below thirty four uh, thirty four thousand, that's when the trend is now over, and we could possibly be looking for more downside to come. But until that happens, guess what? Low, high, low. And what does that actually mean? That now means what? We're probably likely to get some form of a higher low out of the out of the Dow Jones. I, we don't know when, but because this is just a pullback, we can see that that's what's going on through there. So hope this helps you out there today, traders. If you do need some help with your trading, first link in the description, you can grab access to a free trading course from there. Or if you really do need my help, guys, um, I think I've got one spot left open for my coaching program for one year. If that sounds interesting to you, second link in the description, click on that, go fill out the application form, and I'll speak to you real soon.